Welcome to MyDraw. Today, let's talk about how to create a flowchart. What is a flowchart? A flowchart is a type of diagram that represents a workflow or process. A flowchart can also be defined as a diagrammatic representation of an algorithm or a step-by-step -step approach to solving a task. A flowchart steps are represented by symbols of various kinds, and they are ordered by connecting the boxes with directional arrows. This diagrammatic representation illustrates a solution model to a given problem. Flowcharts are used in analyzing, designing, documenting, or managing a process or program in various fields. A flowchart shows us the steps of a process in a concise and streamlined way. Flowcharts use different building blocks, including a processing step, usually called an activity, which is presented as a rectangular box, a decision, shaped like a diamond, a terminal, the start and the end, represented by an oval, the flow line, directional arrowheads, which show the order of process operations. Let's display the grid and make our flowchart. Number one. Make sure that you've opened the Basic Shapes Library. This library includes the most used shapes for the basic flowchart. Number two, place the rounded rectangle shape. This will be the start symbol of the flowchart. Number three, add three rectangle shapes. They will be our process. Number four, add a decision block in our recruitment process. Then add the diamond shape. In the decision block, we have to categorize the job application. Finally, we have to connect all the shapes together. We do that by using the connector tool. Number five, the result from the decision block will be two more processing steps. The first one is with suitable for the job and the second is for unsuitable candidates. Number six, we have to send a thank you mail for the unsuitable ones, and that is the first end block. Number seven, let's add one more decision block with extra criteria for our candidates. Number eight, our suitable candidates need to be invited to an interview, while the unsuitable ones will receive a thank you mail. Number nine, we need only the best candidate for the job, so let's add another decision block with some criteria. Number 10, only a few of our candidates will receive an invitation to a second interview. The rest of them will receive a thank you mail. Number 11, the best candidate will receive the job offer and that will be our final end block. It's a good practice to use a color scheme in your flowcharts to identify various things. You can use it to highlight processes that belong to different parties, to highlight risky processes or specific paths in a process and for many other things. Or, you can simply use it to differentiate between processes and decisions if color coding is your thing. You can include a legend in the corner so that everyone knows how to interpret the chart and understand what the flowchart colors symbolize.